going to have a quick look at how to use the new matte difference tool in Nucoda and Phoenix 2016.1. What I have here is an image that has been repaired using the new DVO dry clean tool. And what you can see here is a piece of the image that has been repaired that um, does not have any grain in the in the image due to the repair uh, being made by using uh, previous annexed frames so we have an area of of smoothness here that is that is not really what we want if we look at the previous and the next frames so what we're going to do is we're going to use the matte diff tool to create a, a difference mat that we could use to repair this particular uh, area so i'm going to decide what i need to do in that area i'm going to add my rgb regrain tool and i'm adding it as a user effect layer so that i have access to the matte diff tool over here and when i go to this tool you'll see i have two two tabs my combined tab uh, looks very similar to the tools that I have in uh, in the root actually. So I have opacity and layer operations and, and that kind of thing. But I'm going to concentrate on the diff mat tab. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the RGB regrain tool. You can see it's actually added a uh, colored grain over here, which is the, the standard. Uh, the saturated grain. So I'm going to turn that off. You can still see the the original fix over here. Uh, in the matte diff tool, I need to do two things. I need to make the matte visible, and I need to decide how that matte is created. So I'm going to say that I would like to use uh, luminance to see the matte, um, and I'm going to turn on the show, the layer show. And now I have to decide how that matte is generated. Now. At the moment, it is using what is coming into the matte difference to create the matte. So I'm looking at a difference between it and itself. So what I need to do is what's coming in is the fix from the DVO dry clean tool. I'm going to compare that to input effects layer. And when I do that, you'll see that it is now generating a map based on the difference between the two layers. I can use the scale button here to enhance the that that mat and this will actually show me everything that is different on that frame. And obviously it is also for other frames as well so you can see other fixes. Once I've decided that I'm happy with that, I just turn off show, go to my regrain tool, and when I enable it, you'll see that only the matte area gets regrained. I'm going to remove the saturation from that and maybe increase slightly the amount of grain. And when I move through my clip, you'll see that the grain has been removed. Now, I can obviously use this for creative purposes as well, to use uh, to create any kind of effects if I'm using it in Nucoda, or I can use it to generate mats for filling with other tools when I am working in Phoenix.